Episode 7 of Season 3, brought to you by iDrinkCoffee.com, the Gansevoort Resort in Turks and Caicos, Untuck It, Fine Shirts, which I have to size for you gentlemen soon. Yes. And uh, Puckpedia.com, we'll get to the segments of uh, all our sponsors a little bit later on in the show. Season 3, how many seasons do you think we should go? Uh, 40. <laughs> <laughs> right up until What's the our... longest record for a show? Like 23, se- well, if you can't count like yeah. 60 minutes and such. Yeah, well, like I mean, The Simpsons years. is the longest. Ooh, yeah, that, I think right. it is. What, that's 20 longest. something? 20 yeah, something years. Survivor's up there too now. Yeah. Survivor. Yeah, but did they do two Survivor's seasons a year? Yeah, they sneak two seasons in. a year. The Bachelor too. They sneak in too and they yeah. count them too. But yeah. Still, that's an the impressive. The Ultimate Fighter's up there too. The Ultimate Fighter's like 25 years in. Now, I know that because I work on UFC programming here at you see, I think the Ultimate Fighter is twenty-five years. Yeah, twenty-five years in. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Wait a second, isn't that a UFC thing? Yeah, UFC. Thought, yeah, UFC has not been around for twenty-five, 25 years. years. Started in ninety-three. Really? Yeah. Although I think I do remember watching a fight with Royce Gracie back then when I was in university. Who's that? He was like one of the first like stars of that genre. Huh. But don't forget as well, we're talking about two seasons a year, right? They do that yeah. too. So, right. but, but UFC, Sneaky. I'm sure, is, is pretty old. But don't you think like with a Netflix show or the shows that come on today that we all watch, the Game of Thrones type shows, Yes, it should be, I always think the best shows are about five, six seasons. Yeah. And yeah, then but, then they, five to seven. but then the money they do for a few yeah, more. I'll give you an example. Walking Dead. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was late to Walking Dead because I thought it was stupid. Yeah. But then somebody sucked me in, and I liked it. It was good for about four or five seasons. Right. I thought it was really good. And now I think it's the worst show on television. Really? Wow. And I, but I kept watching up until this year because, you know, they, they suck you in. You, you, wanna, you start something, you want to finish something. Yeah, that's right? fair. Well, you know what? Entourage... Entourage was seven years. And it ran I, out of I, stuff. But, but, yeah, they had one bad year. They had one bad they, year. I think season six was a bad year. And Californication is another show I used to watch. I love Same that. thing. Season six was brutal. But uh, seven, season seven was amazing. Watching a show right now called Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend Scott, Ske- Scott Speedman. Sexy guy. <laughs> so sexy. Um, two really good seasons. Yeah. Season three. <laughs> For reasons, I can't do a spoiler, but there's a character that... Gets killed off that disappoints me greatly. It's not Scott Speedman. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> and, not be. and it's like I'm ready to quit. And the show got canceled, I heard. So oh, I did. There you go. Uh, but anyway, I would say, uh, you know, if the money's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll Whoa. do it for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to syndication. <laughs> we do have to get to city. <laughs> will, the, will these things hold up? You know, my kids watch Friends like crazy. Like I've Friends has been Friends discovered by back. a whole yeah. new generation. Yeah. Yeah. And so, do you think that our kids or our grandkids will rediscover the Rubber Boots Pod that. and the humor will hold up? Oh, it'll hold. oh the humor! It'll humor hold. It's it'll timeless. Hold up. All the it's Roddy, timeless. the Roddy sex jokes. How are those fries? <laughs> <laughs> the incessant of us making fun of Lester for no reason. Yeah. I think it'll be fired great. every week. Puffy's gambling. <laughs> you know, guys. Leaves are beautiful. Oh. Uh, just on the way in today, did you see all the leaves when you turned into Channel Nine Court? Yeah, there's a million leaves, and they're all. You ever they blow in a circle like a little? Uh, yeah. Where is this? Like a little oh, right, right at the intersection of what's our street out there? McCowan, 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 McCowan and Channel Nine. Nine? Yeah, uh, all the leaves blow in circles like it's a little tornado, I and I found fascinated that. by it. So I was at the lights after I went and got my freshy food. Yeah, they could nice. give. They could throw us a little Place money you, some uh, some way. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and. Uh, I was watching the leaves, and I was so fascinated that I rolled down my window to look at the leaves, and at that point, the wind suddenly changed, and the leaves blew my way, and about 10 leaves struck me in the face and and bruised me. Wow. I got 20 leaves right now in the front seat of my car. Wow. Is that how they got there, James? The week that was a really weak segment this week. <laughs> <laughs> awesome leaves. That's all I got. But in that moment, I thought it was uh, I thought it was quite something, 20 leaves in my car. Not as good as the time. I had a time, uh, I probably told this one on the pod. Uh, I used to have a Nissan 240SX when I was a young buck, like 21, the first cool thing this, I brought. This is a motorcycle? No, it was like a, Nif- a car, like a Nissan. Oh, a car. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it this has been car. motoring 93. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. I think it was, a 90, I think it was a 1992 <laughs> Nissan 240SX, which was a cool car back then, yeah. with a T-roof. You know, you take the roof off, you put it in the trunk. Yeah. And I was driving to a party at Suhanna Marchand, now CBC anchor, formerly Ottawa News anchor. She was having a pool party. And I was driving out there, and a seagull 
flew into my the back seat of my like car. Like flew in. Wow. Just drove right in flew right into my car. Wow. Like you know, I hit it and then it like tumbled in through the thing and like the feathers were flying in my eyes and everything. Yikes. It's a better story than the Leafs, but not what much. What did you do to the bird? I pulled over to the side of the car and I removed the bird who was like <laughs> <laughs> It Did was like, you, you know, it was like doing a little, like, cause dead, but like moving. <laughs> and I just threw it out onto the side of the road. Whoever and so is then the you TV called animal services and thought. made sure it was taken care of. I gave it mouth to mouth resuscitation. Wow. <laughs> I saw this video. That's I follow, how the bird flew. Started. I follow this cute, beak. cute little account called the Dodo on Twitter, which has all these cute little animal videos. Yeah. And some guy, some squirrel got uh, hit by an electric, electrical wire. Oh. So it was like dead. And the guy picks the squirrel up and he puts it on his motorcycle seat and gives it mouth to mouth resuscitation. <laughs> <laughs> he, or a chipmunk. What a squirrel or a chipmunk. And the yeah. chipmunk uh, comes back to life. And no way. It, yeah, it goes yeah. running off into the woods. It was the happiest little Do you little brag squirrel. about that after doing that? <laughs> maybe know. maybe it would have been fine if you just left it. You just need some rest. <laughs> can he actually say that it was his mouth to mouth that saved that squirrel or chipmunk? No, you can actually watch. Like you watch him breathe life into this little chipmunk or squirrel. The dodo, I highly recommend it if you need happiness in now your he's life. Because a it, there's a lot of sadness in your life. Yeah. Um, wasn't going to do the week that was. I didn't have a very interesting week, but I'll, I'll share one story with you that I thought you'd like. Uh, I still feel bad about um, outing my buddy Mike over that whole Dave Chappelle, uh, Dave Coulier thing. Uh, <laughs> episode, <laughs> episode one or two of the pod this season. Um, I have a buddy Mike in Turks and Caicos. He owns a place down there at the Gansevoort. Uh, he's become a good buddy of mine, and uh, he mistake, mistook uh, Dave Chappelle for Dave Coulier. Didn't mistake them for each other, but was confused about them. So Mike has me over for dinner. Mike and his lovely wife has me and my bride over for, for, for dinner in Oakville at their lovely house in Oakville on the weekend. And would that take you like six hours to get to? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, buddy. 407. It's mint. 407 is great, yes. And uh, we come into the house, beautifully decorated Oakville house, and yeah. on his uh, kitchen counter is a lovely framed photo of Dave Chappelle. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Mikey's got a good sense of humor. That's funny stuff. I got some drugs. I thought it was going to be some mural to Dave Coulier. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I know. That would be frightening. <laughs> Oakville's a very trendy little town, eh? You go down on that main street, it's very posh. It's we, nice. We had friends that uh, lived in the posh. city, and then they... Uh, Went to Oakville? They told us they're moving out to Oakville, and we said, okay, well, we'll never see you again. And they thought we were, like, joking. And You've we never have seen them, seen them once. It's nice. There's a lot of restaurants. So stuff, far, It's very though, posh. It, it's very posh. Very posh. I, I played a couple of gigs along that... Uh, along really? That like in the, little, in the little poshy restaurant? No, they actually have a... They, at one point, anyway, they had, like, a big festival put on by the B.I. Oakville, be it Business Association, mm-hmm. or whatever it is, and it's great, man. Yeah, out there. How many gigs have you played in your life? Any, like, <laughs> in my life, you've oh played my, everywhere. Uh, yeah, seriously. I've I've done a bit of fair bit of playing. Would you guys do? How much would it cost if uh, you did a house party? If I had a house party in the summer? Oh, well, I don't have to talk uh, talk a lot of money, but I'll give you a good deal. We got two hundred bucks. Yeah, can't have. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I won't even show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Bands are not cheap. No. We, you know what? We should we should have a little rubber boots podcast. I think we should at your, at your house. Good idea. Which your band house? would play though? Elton Ron. I, I would actually. I Bone would diggers. Bring, I would bring. I would bring a That's high claim band. band. I would bring, How much I would, would Elton Ron clean. cost? I think we get the whole lineup. Twenty yeah, grand. Wow. Twenty grand wow. to get Elton Ron. Twenty grand to go for sure. Yeah, they'll be there I'm for a week. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Elton Does Ron? Elton Ron like take One his big piece only. of the pie and just you know shave off a few twenties in an envelope for that's, you guys so you don't exactly really know what he's happens. getting? No, yeah. no. He, he, listen, if the podcast he, ever goes the road, that's exactly what will happen. Here, <laughs> <laughs> like, here you go, It'll guys. Be like the police. Twenty Here's bucks your, a piece. Here's bucks. your per diem. <laughs> no, we get, he's we, taking we get, his five he, grand and walking. We get looked after. Like, looked after very well. He does a lot of work. Ron does. So all right, yeah. we love Ronnie. We still got to go see him together. But yes, first, sure. first we need to get to what we're playing. We're playing in Markham. Yeah, that's not, that's, not, that's not the same no, as well. Oh, yeah, we'll go to Markham. That's my old neighborhood. Okay. Uh, first, we've got to get to the Roddy Recap, brought to you by idrinkcoffee.com. Middle of the morning, can't keep my eyes open, because i got to have a, a cup of java. i got to have a, a cup of java. So I better look on, look on. Better look on. To I drink coffee, I drink coffee.com. Last week, the podcast kicked off with major sponsor announcements as the Rubber Boots Pod got new endorsement deals from Untuck It, Puckpedia.com, and apparently Cialis. Puff gave a stirring testimonial. I'm different sizes week to week. Jimmy's Jimmy gained more confidence. So I pulled it out on the dance floor. While Lester has just become more aggressive. I'll take Latitz now. 
It just went on from there. You just want to keep fast forwarding, which you're probably already doing right now. Yes, I do. Trust me, we all do. The intern internship heated up as candidate Scott Reynolds suggested a new name for Puffy's hypotheticals. Your move, face. Catchy. And a shocking new intern candidate emerged as Jeff O'Neill submitted his resume, titled, I know people and get done. And when the episode six dust settled, we learned that not all heroes wear capes. Kristoff, by the way, uh, doing most of the labor now on the Rod Smith recap. Yeah. Word of caution, Stoff. Those buckets of massage oil can get mighty heavy. Just ask my former assistant Emilio in this dated soundbite from my archives. You're killing me, Mr. Roddy. I've been massaging you for seven hours. I'm almost out of coconut oil. Oh, almost there, Emilio. Just one more lap of the old Roddy body and we'll move on to the macadamia nut butter. Miss those tiny magic hands. Till next time, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss Emilio. Yeah, a little cameo. Emilio. Have to pick up Emilio's storyline uh, later on in the season. Oh, what's this? A call from Bob McKenzie. <laughs> oh, do we do we <laughs> add this? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Do we add this one? <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Okay, I just got to warn you. Um, I'm, we're taping the pod right now. So anything you say could end up on the podcast, which would be a crossover from the Bobcast. Well, then I'm out of here. <laughs> you have confidential information you need me to call back with? Uh, I'm going to go get it in an Uber and all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Bye. It's Bob McKenzie making a, a rare uh, right. We'll have to put him in the blurb. <laughs> get that Bobby bump. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's a little change for you. We yes. usually get the uh, the Jeff O'Neill calls. Yes. Bobby, not quite as... <laughs> not as chatty. Not quite as chatty, not as dirty. Yes. No, no, not as much swearing as Jeff O'Neill. Jeff O'Neill called me twice last night while I was sitting on the, in front of the TV watching hockey. Yeah. And uh, I, was di- I, I get disappointed when he phones me outside of the yeah. podcast taping hours. You know he taped he, on uh, Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, why are you calling me for it? Because this won't be nearly as good because I can't use any of it. Um, the reason Jeff called, I think, was to chat about um, the story. This Tuesday, by the way, again, I know you may be listening on the weekend, and once again, this may be a somewhat dated story, but uh, it was last night that the story broke about the senator's uh, tape, cab tape from Arizona. Jeff was calling me to talk about that, and I... Uh, Let's just get to things that I saw on Twitter. Freaky pigs, strange chicks, world affairs, polar bears, fake news, nice shoes, big boobs, jack dudes, all of these things and more as I sat on the shitter. Things that I saw on Twitter. Yeah, this thing came on Twitter last night. I don't know what, 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock or something yeah. like that. First thing I saw was this dregs putting out their statement. I'm like, ooh. Oh, you were a little late to the party there. Yeah. yeah. It's a uh, few thoughts. Um, what a dick move by the uh, Uber driver. Not yeah. only a dick move, but likely an illegal move. Uh, certainly in violation of, of Uber's rules, but yeah, maybe in violation of the him. law. I had a chat with uh, a source. I sound like dregs now. A source within the <laughs> SENS organization today. Uh, and they think that an illegal act may have been committed on a couple of fronts there. So uh, we'll see if they pursue that. Um, it was, it was, it was one of those things I played it and it just, you cringe from the second it starts. And I don't actually don't think it was, it was bad. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been way way worse, way worse, way worse, but it's just, it's unbelievable that it's that team. They've had the worst year ever. Like how many conversations do you think a bunch of guys every night on the road, there are 50 people. To 100 professional sports teams out, probably taking Ubers to dinner or whatever, yeah. probably talking about Not somebody anymore. on their team or their coaches or something like that. Yeah, for sure. And it's the Ottawa Senators, the team that has had more crap happen to them in the last 12 months. It's unbelievable. It, yeah. You'd it, think this is rock bottom for them, but... It's lunacy. Here, here look, may I? Yes. Because I have some thoughts. Please do. On one hand, terrible. Terrible that they would even talk about this in front of a stranger. I mm-hmm. think it's just, we've always heard what goes in the dressing room, what goes on the team stays in the dressing room. Second of all, on the other hand as well, a tremendous invasion of their privacy. There is, as you said, there's no way that that video should be leaked for any reason. And I do believe if there isn't a precedent, this will now set a precedent because you can't do that. That's offside. You can't do the thing. 
like, is privacy dead? Yes. You, you got to wonder. For sure. Do we can, like, from now on, if we're in an Uber together, or if we're in a uh, thing together, do we not talk about this stuff? Quick pause. We had a brief interruption there because uh, 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 Puff had to take a call. An incident at school. What with, happened uh, with, with one of your sons? I don't know for sure, but my oldest, Barrett, he had a incident with another child. Hopefully it's not over the Cowboys game last night. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get in a fight? I don't know. They didn't tell me. He just, they got hit in the face. They didn't say with what. Oh. Huh. So, could be in the face. But he's okay. He's yeah. okay. Because we're not going to go forward if he's no, not okay. No. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's totally okay. I never told you. I probably told it on the pod about the time that... Uh, I was. We used to do the segment called the Hot Seat. Yeah. And I was about to interview Steve Nash. I was wired up with my earpiece. Steve Nash was being wired up on the other side, and uh, my phone rings, and I'm like, I, I got 30 seconds, so this guy doesn't usually call me. It's our, my neighbor, yeah. where my son is, and it's his name's Brad. And I'm like, hello, and he goes, Yeah, James is Brad. I, I stay calm, but we're at the hospital. Um, Calvin, his son hit uh, Jared in the eye with a shovel. <laughs> and uh, it just missed his eyeball. So he's getting stitches right now, but his eye's fine. And meanwhile, like Billy or Jeff is in my other ear going, okay, we're ready, Steve Nash, we're ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, well, well is my, my son's going to be okay. He goes, yeah. He, he, I'm like, I got, I, I, I. Yeah, oh my God. That's so cool. I was never They're more. They're trying to save the eye. I was never more disjointed <laughs> oh going into an interview than, than that with poor Steve Nash, who heard like the last 30 seconds through his earpiece. and's like, uh, everything okay there, bro? <laughs> uh, the anyway, Canadian Steve we're Nash. Glad. So we're glad. Because we were worried when yes. you took the call that it well, was. It was uh, from the school. So a I gambling like, debt. Yes. <laughs> Somebody had showed up at the school. Yes. <laughs> Some mob Your guys. Sons have been taken. <laughs> uh, what the heck we were talking about the whole, the whole sense thing though um yeah. i can't even remember what i was asking you guys but it's uh uh it's just i don't know it's just we can't you can't do anything next time we get in an uber or a cab are we gonna have to think about that yeah. in the back of our mind well no no one's really thinking about that I well mean, again this- you asked the question is privacy dead right and and i think that's that's the issue right now you know mm-hmm. i think everything's got a price now you know look at tmz look at the rise of tmz they've got people everywhere L- Lester's right. There's actually a uh, new tape now making its rounds online that I'm looking at right now. What are you uh, talking about? It, it's another... Uh, another it, cab type? Yeah, it's another Uber, uh, Uber, Uber tape, Uber tape oh, that's just been released. And uh, I, I, some people, I don't think they're going to be too happy. Uh, do you guys want to play it? Yeah, go, uh, sure. go ahead. Yeah. All right. All right. How you doing, buddy? 701 Young Street, right? You got it. The brass rail. Roddy's taking the boys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sirius Lester, anyway? Uh, he had some gig, Elton Ron, Bone Crushers, yeah. Lester McLean, Quintel, one of those. Who knows? I haven't paid attention to that guy in three weeks. Right? I mean, sure he's a freaking songwriting prodigy and has the voice of an angel and is handsome and kind and probably a gentle yet satisfying lover. Confirmed. But enough already, Frig. Are those dreadlocks even real? They're too perfect. Doubt it. And he's always flaunting how he's the only one of us with no kids. Uh, I have no kids. I'm financially uh, supporting nine. Are you guys a team or something? We're the Rubber Boots Podcast, bro. Oh, I only listen to the podcast. F- you f- face. F- face We're jerk. here, boys. Make Roddy proud. Right. Hey, champagne room! Champagne room! Champagne room! Wow. That's embarrassing. That is unfortunate that that has come out. Wow. That was, yeah, the timing that was is Friday. Okay. Purposely avoided that on... on uh, <laughs> The week that was. That's why we we did. I talked about leaves on purpose to avoid that night out. <laughs> well done. Well, well done. Just so you know, oh, Lester, right. we uh, we were going to do it uh, picking on me instead, but then it's always more fun because you're so lovable that it's hard to make fun of you for anything. So that's why. We, oh, that's funny. That's, that's good stuff. I liked it. I you know, I got a sense of humor. That's funny. <laughs> Confirmed. I, I love that. <laughs> a satisfying lover. Confirmed. But <laughs> a gentle lover. Confirmed. Uh, Roddy. Roddy making a cameo. Oh, that's going to be a double invoice for Roddy Double there. invoice double for invoice. sure. Uh, that was some solid acting in there. That was fantastic. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, privacy's dead. We're all screwed. You can't say anything and, But the problem now is it's out. And so now we all know what Matt Duchesne is thinking when the coach is talking to him and and I don't know. They're going to have to make big decisions there in Ottawa. I don't think we can go forward with this group. I I don't know about that. Like I, I thought there were a bunch of guys put it well last night. Ryan Whitney, I retweeted him saying this happens in every friggin' cab ride almost every night. And you know, are are they big enough to get over it? Unfortunately, the coach, the one assistant coach, I feel bad for him because he's the one that takes the brunt of it there. 
but the players do look bad, and Duchesne's supposed to be a leader. It's that's just well. He, it's I just mean, how, how can they sign him now? But there's yeah. part. You know what? There's right. parts of it though that I don't know. I think you can get past it. I really do. I think you can get past this. Uh, there's it, like you said, it could have been much worse. They weren't ripping on each other, other players on the team. No, they for weren't sure. ripping on the head coach. They, they're 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 well, talking about hockey. They're concerned yeah, about their PK. It's for sure. No, I mean, there's definitely like I I don't I'm like. It's not a bad thing that they did what they were saying, no. but like, it's one of those things that even if you think someone thinks that way, when you actually hear them say it, like, how's that assistant coach going to go and run a power play meeting? Like, that'll be. That, I think the hockey part is the challenging part to get over. I think you can get over all the other stuff, but it's the actual hockey part of that. Yeah, like I wouldn't say any of those guys are bad problem. guys because no. what? That's everyone does that. Everyone rips on For their sure. boss. But yeah. let's not forget too, we have a wild card owner there, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, yeah. so he might just go. Well, thank goodness it wasn't about him. Like, right? Because oh, I'm oh. sure there's been many a cab ride with Ottawa Senators that have been on multiple tangents about Eugene. I bet Perhaps. Eugene's had some Uber rides, uh, probably not Uber rides, but limo rides, yeah. where he's gone on some stuff. So anyway, yeah. we can't say yeah. anything the anymore, thing except I, on the rubber boots pod. Yeah. The other thing watching it, though, is like you remember how young these guys are. Mm-hmm. Like It was like they sounded like young guys, which they are. Like It was the right. way they were talking, and like it was like everyone has those conversations. It was... yeah. Some of it was, it was unfortunate, funny. but it brings us. Uh, we're going to do a segment relation this week and get to uh, Puffy's hypotheticals. Oh yeah. Yo, one two one two. Puffy's hypotheticals. I'm messing with my mind. Puffy's hypotheticals. What's gonna be this time? Puffy's hypotheticals. I'm blowing my mind. Did you ever finish that song, Lester? Yes, I actually finished it on Saturday. Can you? Uh, oh, did you? Can yeah. you? Can you play it for us next week or a couple weeks? I can play it for you. Uh, well, I can. I can. Next week, I'll play it for you. Yeah, bring it. Bring yeah. it in next week. I'll, and play I'll bring. It for I'll, us. I'll, I don't want to give you the whole thing yet. Yeah, just give segment. us a little yes. bit. Yes, a little yes. taste. And what's it yes. called again? It's called hypotheticals. I kept this. Up. All these hypotheticals. All these hypotheticals. So you just cut Puffy out. Yes. 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 That's, that's all he destroyed. Puffy and from it's the a song. hit. <laughs> Imagine that. It, it goes to number one on Billboard. <laughs> Puffy <laughs> launches a ma- massive lawsuit against <laughs> Lester, and we have many more cab rides talking behind Lester's back about he stole all Puffy's money. <laughs> Puffy's hypothetical is brought to you by the Gansvort and Turks and Caicos. Currently 35% off if you want to go all out and book the uh, penthouse. Oh. And more than 50% off on the luxury villas right now. Good time to get down there mm-hmm. if you have a little money to spend and you want to check out the Gansvort in Turks and Caicos. We'll play Lester's theme in a little bit, but Puffy, uh, relate it to us. Okay, you have to choose one of the following options. You're in a cab. You, and, Uber, whatever, yeah, right? Uber or whatever. And a video of you doing one of the following ends up on YouTube. <laughs> Making love to your wife slash girlfriend. Okay, so it is. Seat. That's important. It is your wife slash girlfriend. Yeah, the your person you're currently with. <laughs> All right. All right. There's no no debauchery going on. All right. Uh, and now it's full frontal is seen on the video, and it's a cold night. <laughs> so, so it's not complimentary. It's not. It's not exactly. Not her full frontal. No. Your full frontal. Yes. All right. Uh, snorting cocaine while screaming, "I'm the king of the world." <laughs> <laughs> Or ripping Bob McKenzie saying that he is overrated and his sources are all bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a very good one. So you have to choose one of the Oh jeez. <sighs> anybody else does anybody have an answer yet? Will I ponder this? I'll I'll break I'm gonna go first. All right. I would not uh, choose the Bob McKenzie one because that's fireable. <laughs> yeah, I can't. There's I no would chance. not choose the cocaine one because that's fireable. A fireable effect. Is it? Is cocaine not legal yet? <laughs> <laughs> so I'd have to choose the first one. Make it love. Even though even though well you will disappoint a lot of the lady listeners. <laughs> well, it's not you can't fire me for that though. You might not wanna Lester's full frontal <laughs> is smaller than it seems. <laughs> um I'm gonna have to go with you, Lester. Because you're right, like cocaine I'm done. Yeah. Bob McKenzie, I'm I'm done That's worse. Fun. Yeah. Right? And uh, so I'm going to take the, the little pee-pee in the back of the taxi. Plus, I think that even though that might show, I think that I'd be shown to be a wonderful lover, a tender lover. <laughs> or a, or a giving and tender lover. lover. No, no. Say you're like really selfish. What do we call What, what was Lester called in the, in the Uber? A, uh, generous, generous. a generous and satisfying lover. <laughs> 
I think the video would that prove me true. to be that. Prove it. And plus, you're with your your spouse, so there's nothing. Say the video is it's romantic. quite short. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Beginning to end. You know, nine and a half weeks, which is supposed to be the sexiest movie out there. Yeah. Who's the guy in that movie? Mickey Michael Rourke. Douglas? Yeah, Mickey Rourke. It's Mickey Rourke. Not, it's not Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> that's Are Fatal you sure? Attraction. Uh, you bet. Mickey Rourke and Kim Basinger, they have a one that's like he's like a two oh, and a half seconds up against the wall. Kim Basinger's not nine and a half weeks, is she? Yes, yeah, she she's is. the girl. Yes, definitely. What is wrong with you? She still looks good, by the way. Get on Rotten Tomatoes once in a while, will you? Yes. Yeah. Um, by the way, are you going to answer the question? Yeah, what are you oh, taking? I'm doing the cocaine. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the king of the world. I think that'd be awesome. I actually want that video out there. <laughs> Stop. I'm kind of surprised no one's going for the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> All three at the same time. All three at the same <laughs> time. You, Bob. I'm the king of the world. Snorting coke while having sex. I, I think your I go with the first one. Screw you, Bob. Your sources suck. I'm the was, king of the world. Actually, if you were on the coke, you wouldn't feel how cold it was. You'd be able to, you know. Your old body be warm. Uh, by the way, Puffy had a hypothetical for this week before yes. the Senator's tape broke. That is maybe the most outrageous hypothetical yet. Uh, I think it'll also... We were like, we were peer, worried about upsetting our sponsors back. early, <laughs> yeah. so we thought we'd save it for another week or so, but maybe they'll, we'll bring that uh, Get a few weeks next under week. our belt. Yeah. It might take up the whole pod doing that hypothetical. Yeah. Oh, I would love it. So Stoff took the trifecta, Lester and I took the uh, naked, Sexy and, uh, and Puff went for the cocaine. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Puffy's Hypotheticals is brought to you by the Gans of Work. You work too hard, you need a vacation, so be like Jimmy and go to Ducks and Caicos. Luxury and class of five star resort, you must book the Gans of Work. A nice villa at the Gans of Work. Come to the Gans of Work. The opinions and scenarios expressed in Puffy's Hypotheticals <laughs> are not endorsed or representative. <laughs> Of the Gans of Wart and Turks and Caicos. The Gans of Wart is merely a sponsor of the pod. It's a place where you can go away for a nice vacation. They don't endorse cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> Naked lovemaking, maybe on the beach, they wouldn't mind that. Or in your uh, villa. Yeah. Or in your villa. Preferably in the villa. Yeah. Or the penthouse, 35% off. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? You can trash Bob McKenzie at the Gansy if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's, isn't, doesn't the hockey players now have their little breaks coming up pretty soon where they have their little week vacations? Pretty good idea if you're a hockey player to go down the Gansy. A hundred percent. The Sens probably wishing they had that week off right about exactly. now. Um, okay, our, our boys at Untucket. This is week two of our Untucket sponsorship. Yes. We're very Sweet. proud. They were very happy with week one. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we uh, we did you know they they give you like the commercial the commercial read we're supposed to do for the Untucket yeah. thing uh, I'll do that in a second but we have to get the shirts because we want to wear the Untucket shirts mm-hmm. on the broadcast yes and then we'll uh, we'll tape us we'll take a shot or whatever what do they call it in modern terms uh, a, a photo <laughs> 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 and they'll put it on the Instagram on, it, on, what do they call it these days the, the social the media gram? social media and on the gram. Um, we'll put it on the gram yeah IG. and we'll see us in our Untucket shirts it'll be. The first group photo we've had since um, when we went shirtless. So when we went shirtless, so now we'll have we'll have shirts on and they'll be untucked. Shirted up. So we work out for that. So you need to get your size. What size do you? There's multiple sizes with the untucked shirts. Are there? Yeah, it's never a good look when you uh, untuck a long, bulky dress shirt. That's why untucked makes shirts specifically designed to be worn untucked. A casual shirt that's not too long, not too short. Much like Puffy's penis. Uh, and tuck it shirts, <laughs> a go-to for any occasion, from casual to dressy with more than fi- 50 sizing options. How are we going to narrow that down? Seriously. Okay. Lester's just going to go for sexy large. Sexy large. I'm going to go just had two pounds of wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for haven't worked out in three weeks. And uh, stuff. what do you think? Uh, anything that will keep the cocaine off of it. <laughs> Go to un- I can easily be brushed off. Oh <laughs> Go to untucket.com and check out all the new fall arrivals. Use the promo code RUBBERBOOTS for 20% off your purchase. Please right. do that. It's important to the Untucket people. Um, so uh, Untucket, we needed a theme song yes. for them. And uh, Lester, uh, the most proficient theme song oh, jingle writer in the business today, yes. has come up with one. The moment I saw her, I knew it was on dance just as much as her smile She looked me up and down And studied every move And as she drew near enough She said She said 
I like your shirt. And I said, thanks, babe. It's an untuck it. Untuck it. Cool, relaxed, comfortable. So sexy. <laughs> it's it was very Lou Reed. It was it? I was going for that. I was going for a different, like, you know, get a different vibe, and you know, yeah, a little Robbie Robertson, Lou Reed. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. But I love how he just grabbed their campaign and took it as his own. I bet you they're on the line midweek looking to use that. And the Untuck It commercials you will see on television yeah. will have that in the background. This pays me. Uh, that will be the Untuck It theme. But for one week, uh, uh, once again, uh, Lester's uh, rival and the, uh, the budding uh, intern prospect, Scott Reynolds, wanted to provide his own uh, Untuck It theme song as well this week. Hey there, fellas, if you want to look good, get your shirts from Untuck It. The fabric's gonna feel so good on your skin that you might even want to f*** it. Very, very deep as well. <laughs> Probably won't be as popular with the Untucked no, people. No, I don't know if they're gonna gobble that <laughs> May one have up. to bleep out some of that, as we did last week. Um, thank you, Scott Reynolds, once again, for contributing. Mm. Uh, Lester's your, uh, your th- Lou Reed theme will... Uh, I think that's the one we'll have to go with. Yeah. If I ever do make love in an Uber, I want that Untucked theme you know, playing that you did. Yeah. Hey, baby. You, I said, hey, baby. Um, uh, thank you, Untuck It once again. Uh, oh, our one other new sponsor from last week was uh, Puckpedia.com. We, do you think we're a too heavy jingle? <laughs> do, you, do you think this podcast has become one jingle after Well, it another? is under the musical category. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's going to be removed from sports, but it's good. It's better than just doing those boring commercial reads. Oh, so much better. Like all the podcasts. I fast forward through all of those. Exactly. Well, nobody's fast forward through those Untuck It songs. Ten no, minutes. We get, we get the chance to entertain people. Damn straight. Wow. Nobody's We're fast forwarding through the Puckpedia.com theme. Let me tell you about Puckpedia. Snaps, contracts, and caps. It's all there for you. One stop shop for your hockey information. It's a new sensation. So log on, log on, log on. If you get the puck, go to Puckpedia.com. So, Hart, our buddy who runs Puckpedia, he, uh, he sends us names every week. Yes. And, um,. Two of them are real hockey players' names that you will find on Puckpedia.com. Puckpedia is your number one place to go uh, for all the information about salary caps. You can find agents. Every player who's under contract somewhere in the National Hockey League. If trades happen, that's a place to go. You can find the updated salary caps for all the teams. Very cool site. So three names that I'm going to give you. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of them is fake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, Brandon Arse. Could be Arse. Brandon Arse, we're going to go with Arse. It's kind of a body parts thing this week. Yep. Brandon Arse, undrafted 20-year-old forward signed by the Stanley Cup champion Washington Capitals in 2018. Yep. Oli Lixell, 19 years old, a sixth rounder from the Flyers in 2017. Oli Lixell. <laughs> Rodrigo... A balls, Rodrigo, A balls, twenty-two year old center, drafted by Vancouver, seventh round, two thousand seventeen. Rodrigo, A balls, Ali Lixell, Brandon Arse. Wow. Uh, who would like to go first today? How about you, Lester? You did last week. Uh, I'm going to go with Brandon Arse as the made up as name. the made up name, and I'm saying that because I think this day and age is very difficult to be an undrafted player at. In this oh, it has nothing to do with the name. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm part, partly with the name, but I'm just thinking that undrafted thing might be interesting. Something to Puffy. I'm going to go with Rodrigo uh, A balls. A balls. Yeah. that's a fake name. All right, stuff. Balls deep with A balls. Uh, well, last week, interestingly enough, um, Puffy and Stoff were correct, um, and Lester was wrong this week. It's the opposite. Oh. Lester is right. Yes. Brandon Arse made it's up. fixed. Damn it. Yeah, made it does up. Feel fixed. Ollie Lixell yeah. is indeed a sixth round of pick of the Flyers in 2017. Rodrigo Abels, which could be Abels, but we don't know. 22 oh, year old center. Florida, you well, Lixell could be Lixell, and Brandon Arse could be Arcee. Look at You got to try to fool you guys, all right? So we're tied 1 1 1. 1 1 1. Everybody's yes. got a point. And we're quickly running out of names. <laughs> so next week, it might have to be one name that's real, two names that are fake, and you have to pick out the real name. That makes it more, uh, more uh, interesting. From our boys at Puckpedia. That's great. Though. One last segment for today. After a week reprieve, it's back to the 
intern search. Rubber Boots Podcast intern search. We need someone to mail the merch when listeners win contests. Coffee, t-shirts, James's book. We need, need something you're all the look. Bring coffees to the set. Help pay off puffs gambling debt. Just be there to scratch our wrist. The bottom line is you'll be a... Shut your mouth. Hey, man, I'm just talking about the Rubber Boots Podcast intern. <laughs> <laughs> Lester, I, mean, man. Po- I know we got a lot of jingles, but they're all so damn good. Know, awesome. oh, Maybe you, do you think you. the podcast will ever mature to the point where we just play the jingles back to back and none of us so. speak? And we just and that dance. Would be the, we, just, <laughs> we do a video portion, just dance just the whole dance time. To the songs. Uh, uh, Megan, Megan Wong, I got to give her some love because we haven't heard from Megan in a few weeks. Yep. Um, she's working hard still. She went out on the Twitter. Oh, nice. And she uh, asked, she went at Eric Stone Street oh. and said, it would really help my my chance to be an intern if you would if I could get you on the rubber boots that's a, strong, that's that's a strong, season one storyline yes. I think that got left unattended yes. last year Eric Stone Street was going to be our guest and then um, we kept canceling him and he kept canceling on us and three years later well it's not really three years but here the hell we are we're still waiting on Eric Stone Street so if Megan Wan can land Eric Stone Street oh front of the line damn, for her more power to her uh, let's on. see we've heard from Megan Wong uh, Laura Cope Cope also wonderful mm-hmm. Uh, Scott Reynolds, we hear from every week. He's yes. relentless. Yes. And Scott Erlinson in the Scott Reynolds versus Scott Erlinson battle. So it's the fifth intern. I don't, I don't remember how many we have. I think we've got about seven. This was a late entry. Remember I said last year, I named about five interns at yep. the end of the year. And I said, uh, you know, if somebody impresses me during the summer, mm-hmm. then uh, boom, they can get on the list. This guy came aboard. He lobbied hard. He sent resumes. He sent tapes. He sent Insta messages. And so Zach Phillips became one of our finalists. Zach, are you on the line? Yeah, how's it going? Good, buddy. Very exciting day for you, I'm sure, isn't it? Like, highlights of your life. Give me the top three besides this. Uh, I would have to say this is probably number one. Um, What about having me on your podcast? How about having me on your podcast? Which was bigger, you being on mine or getting me on yours? Uh, You know what? I think you top the list. I think you're definitely number one. Okay, thank you, buddy. Sucking yeah, up. That's and then uh, yeah, we had a uh, biz on, so I think he's oh. definitely below. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. wouldn't probably said that until now. <laughs> if he got a chance to intern on spit and chicklets, he'd probably grab that in a second. <laughs> now, uh, Zach, I did go on your podcast, but then some tragedy happened. Is this correct? Uh, yeah. So I go to school at Western um, in London, and one of my buddies. Uh, that I live with took me out. We went to go grocery shopping, like in our first couple weeks of being back at school. And uh, we come back out to the car after being in the store for about an hour, and my laptop was stolen out of the car. Uh, Containing your podcast? The most valuable piece of audio he's probably ever had. Yeah, 15 minutes with Jimmy. It was unfortunate, too, because I always have uh, a backup, like external hard drive. But I never bring it with me. It's always like in a separate place so that I never have to worry about that. Why wasn't and wasn't I on the cloud, Zach? Wasn't I up on the cloud somewhere? Uh, no, it was all on the it was all on the hard drive. I, it didn't fit in my cloud. I ran out of space. So. I thought everything was on the cloud. Now. I thought it, Thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> There's hope that not everything we've done in our lives is up on the cloud. Yes, exactly. Zach, yeah. I, I get. You know how I got confused about three times. You, you are the guy I met right at the track yeah. meet. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was actually the first person who uh, messaged you guys on Instagram, I believe, about the internship anyway, at the beginning. Right, I think you were. He got in early, yeah, which that's why and then we forgot go. about him. I, you see, I didn't want to, I kind of eliminated Zach because I thought everybody would think that was cheating because I knew him. Because you, your sister's like friends with my daughter or something, Zach, is that right? Uh, yeah, so I, I live in Aurora, um, and my sisters grew up playing sports against uh, your daughter. Oh, oh So rival. my sisters, they're twins. And they both used to run track and play flag football. Wait a second, at the, public f- the Phillips twins. Exactly. <laughs> That's who tore my daughter's ACL. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man. Yeah. But you guys, uh, your school won in flag football at the very end uh, in championship game against our schools. So. Yeah, you know, you know why we won, Zach. Coaching. You're coaching. Were you the head coach then? I was the head coach. Nice. You, are you still doing that head coaching? No, I dropped out. Oh wow! Because you they, had a little juggernaut going there. Well, I started the program. Um and you know got them on the necessary yes <laughs> steroids <laughs> got the seven and eight co-ed did you team ever work. not win the championship yeah we loved the first year I didn't know what I was doing it took me a year to figure things out so Jared's year yeah we didn't know what we were doing 
and we lost in like the quarters. Uh -huh. Then the next year, I think we lost in the semis. I was building the program up. Yes. Then Darian won a championship. Then I brought in Gracie, my other daughter, yes. fed her the ball, another championship. Nice. One loss in the finals, retired, two banners. See you later. Um, <laughs> enough about me, Zach. We could go on all day, <laughs> as we usually do. Uh, why, did you, why should you be the, uh, the intern on the Rubber Boots podcast, Zach? Uh, well, for starters, I'm still in university. Uh, I'm in my third year, and I feel like that uh, is kind of close to the best fit in terms of like an actual intern title. Um, Logical. Uh, Laura Cope goes at Brock, I believe she said still. So, I mean, she's uh, still in school. She's still lobbying for jobs and stuff. But I think in terms of like the actual working title of intern, um, I'm probably pretty close to what that would fit under the category of. Kids got a point. Um, Plus, he knows our, our demo. The university kids love the show. That's our demo. Love it. Exactly. Um, I have a podcast of my own, and I've run all the social media and stuff for that. Mm -hmm. um, all the way through high school, I ran all the social media accounts for my school sports teams. Are like I went to Bill Crothers and Markham, so... Um, I did our hockey team and lacrosse team for the whole four years I was there. Very athletic um, school. Only athletes go to Bill Carruthers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's and it's then true. It's an summer, athlete school. Actually, it's a jock school. Oh, yeah? Yeah, go on. Yeah, sorry. In the summer, I actually worked as a marketing uh, and social media intern uh, for a company, an all for profit company in Markham. Wow. So I ran all their social media. I put together marketing campaign, a little short marketing campaigns and stuff for the summer for them. So. Um, in terms of social media and putting this stuff out there and advertising podcasts and stuff, I feel like I'm pretty qualified for that. Um, in school right now, I'm also taking marketing, um, like the psychology of marketing and uh, website design and stuff like that. So well, we could yeah, use a website. Yeah, we could okay. use. That. Could you now as a project? This could be one that puts them over the top. Yes. Could you like design a website for the pod? Um, free of charge to us, <laughs> <laughs> and get it operational. Uh, duties as assigned. <laughs> I can look into it. But, All right. Yeah. Um, well, listen, that's very impressive. Yes. Actually, now I'm going to be in Thank London you. in a couple weeks. Will you be okay. able to get me into the seeps without having to line up? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, There's a man. back door. Twenty bucks. You're in. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not paying no twenty dollars. <laughs> It's your 20 bucks, Zach. Uh, Lester, do you have any musical questions? Are you threatened at all by I, I, Zach I don't, musically? Uh, uh, no, I'm not threatened by anybody musically, really, James. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's After we spoke no, nice uh, about his songs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, Zach, do you have a favorite team? Sports team? Oh, the least. 100%. Oh, that's a good yeah. answer. Well, you love most. Yeah. Of, you love Puffy now, as uh, not, as not so much see. Lester, and you've alienated all the country outside of Ontario. Well, actually, that's not true. There's a lot <laughs> of Leaf fans. Leaf fans are coast Just, to coast. Uh, yep. I actually had written here, like, I wrote down a couple things just, uh, you. Uh, like, based on some of the other stuff. So I actually had a note that says, I have no musical talent, so I'm not a threat to Lester. Good. And right under that, I said, I love the Leafs, so I can support Puffy through good and bad. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. He also, uh, Zach sent me, uh, first he wanted to film a, a video of us training for New Jack, whatever the hell it was, Good Masters, Jack Summer, Masters. Fall, fall the Christmas, <laughs> right? Zach, you want to do like some Rocky training video, right? Yeah. Um, so in high school, uh, we, I put, I was a part of like a video making class, so we made videos for the school. I have a YouTube channel up, um, and since then I've been hired privately to do some small videos for companies. Uh, Town of Richmond Hill hired me. Markham Board of Trade and Markham, I, I actually put together a bunch of award intros and stuff that can be debuted tonight, actually. And so I really loved the video making and stuff. So I had an idea of like putting together a promo video, kind of like a Rocky spinoff for the New Jack, right, New Jack yeah. Summer, Winter, whichever you guys decide. He also wrote a, he took a screenplay uh, based on something and wrote his own version of a screenplay, which involved Puffy and Jeff O'Neill. Really? Zach texted me that oh, one time wow. in the middle of the night. You might be overqualified, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got a lot uh, going on. Yeah, it's busy. We ex we really expected a bunch of clowns to <laughs> sign up for this thing, and damn, if you're not talented. All right, well, Zach, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. We will, uh, as you know, we'll we'll call you. We'll call your people. We'll be in contact with you as we go forward here, but you're a you're a, you're a very engaging and impressive candidate for the Rubber Boots Pod internship. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to come on. And, James, thank you for coming on my podcast. I really appreciate it. Well, we can do it again, you know, since the other one was <laughs> stolen. Some thank you. Goofball somewhere has got it. Say hi to the Phillips twins for me. I will. Thank you very much.
Did that sound inappropriate? No. <laughs> no. Because they've competed against your In daughter. the context of what we're talking about. Right. So, nice kid. Yeah. Again, it's nobody's, like a young dis- puffy. nobody's disappointing me so far. Uh, what are we going to do about all these clowns? <laughs> Like the well, how are we going to eliminate them? I think, see, here's the problem. We were going to put them on Murder Island, yes. or we were going to do audience votes, yes. or like fire them one by one. Yeah. But now I feel attached to them all. Yeah, no, they're all they're like, like her. they're nice people, and you know, we come acro- we can pretend to be cutthroat, but we're, we're ca- not. We're too nice. We're but that's Teddy the bears. lure. Of, I can't uh, fire them. Murder Island. What? That's the lure of Murder, murder Island. What? You fall in love with the contestants. Yeah, yeah, but then we have to murder them. No, no, no. They oh, they murder, murder each, each other. other. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. V- vying for our love, but I, I don't think real, I don't think realistically we could pull that off. Do you I'm think pretty sure can? that Scots will murder each other. <laughs> one of those that two, might be already done. One of those two That's is going to kill the other for sure. Yeah, well, we'll have to figure. Maybe you could write us at uh, Rubber Boots Pod on Twitter or Instagram and have your suggestions as to what we should do with all these interns. We got a couple more finalists, and then we'll have to come to some sort of decision. I think yeah. we should have a little party at your house. Because we need them to d- start doing Invite work. all the interns to that party when you're no, playing no, the band? No, no, no. We're, we're just hanging out. We'll have a party and sit down and discuss all these interns. That's yeah. true. You know what I'm going to do with the interns? I'm going to get them a little package together, you know, send them some rubber boots. Uh, well, we don't have any rubber boots. No, stuff. we do. We, we got to do we that. get some swag. Yeah. One of the remaining finalists out there, uh, make some contact with some clothing companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to do that. We got to do that. <coughs> we'll figure out something because we, we. I had a bunch of few people wrote me and said, you know, get a sweatshirt on it with Sirius Lester on the back. That'd be amazing. That'd Wouldn't be that be so awesome. cool? Be so good. And people still sending me photos as this guy who walks in downtown Toronto with his rubber boots on. And, he, guy, and, he, and he's a shirt and he has a t-shirt that says I hate rubber boots. Really? But he wears rubber boots and he's all I remember you posting that picture. Yeah, yeah I've seen something of that recently but as well. He's around. Like way, he's, yeah. wow. he, he must be a little cooked. But if we can find him, we'll have him on the pod. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening this week. Um, let's hope that that viral video of us in the Uber <laughs> with Roddy doesn't doesn't spread too far. We'd like to apologize. What a night, though, that was. That was a fantastic night. We apologize to Lester. We didn't mean anything. I hope yeah. we can move forward positively. Mm-hmm. Um, group. We were under the influence. Puffy had done cocaine that night. I had done a lot of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and Stoff and I... Gummies made love naked in the back of the cab. <laughs> so you were tying night. all the segments together, <laughs> <a cold> <laughs> oh my and we all trashed Bob McKenzie. Thanks for listening. See you next week. Hey, how are you? I got a question that I really want to ask you. Wait, don't hang up. I need to know, so I'm gonna try and push my love. Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight? Are they purple, yellow, green, or black or white? Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight? Do you like the dunk tank at the fair? Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight?